NBC presents the first nighter program, starring Mark Bloody and Roland Soule. Theater time on the Great White Way. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to attend the premiere of a new show at the Little Theater off Times Square. Here is our host for the evening, the genial first nighter. Good evening. My cab is waiting. Won't you step in? All right, driver, to the Little Theater. Up Broadway across 42nd Street. Fast gay crowds and twinkling signs into the heart of theater land. There ahead is the Little Theater off Times Square. Thank you. We'll go right in. Tonight's play is a bright and broad comedy entitled Two Loves Had She by Anthony Wayne, starring Barbara Luddy and Olin Soule, featuring Verna Felton, and produced and directed by Joseph P. Angel. Curtain. First curtain. There's the signal for first curtain. The house lights are out. And here's the play. like a hog collar. Well, where are you? Out here in the sunroom. Oh, for goodness sake. Nana, Nana, I'm in a hideous predicament. What again? Oh, but this is serious, Nana. I may be jailed for bigamy. Well, you can't... For what? Bigamy. Isn't that when a girl has one husband too many? No, oh, not necessarily. You can have one husband too many and still not be a bigamist. But how did you get into this? Well, I didn't mean to, but I'm engaged to two men. Engaged? Oh, well, that's a relief. At least you haven't married them. Well, it's no relief to me. They both expect to marry me. Occurs to me you have only one solution. Yes? What's there? Shoot yourself. <laughs> oh, well, please be serious, Nana. I've got to get out of this. All right. What do I have to do? <laughs> Who said you had to do anything? No one but a will. I'm always pulling your chestnuts out of the fire. Henry and Barry are not chestnuts. Well, they'll be burned plenty when they discover they've only a half interest. Well, as long as you want to help, here's what I had in mind. Yes? Well, you see, I'm not really sure which one I like the best, but as long as it's got to be one, I've decided on, on Henry. Very white of you, I think. Well, now, the question is what to do about Barry. Yes. Uh, when are you going to tell him he's out on his ear? Oh, nothing as crude as that. Barry's a darling, really. I'll always want him for a friend. Mm, you two ought to be lifelong friends after you've kicked him in the slap. <laughs> well, I think Barry's fickle. Direction. And, and I have a plan worked out. I, I, I'll just make him fall in love with another girl. And then he'll have to break out in business. Now, I just know that Barry's the type who'd fall for Daphne Ward. So I'm arranging a house party up at the summer cottage. I'm inviting Henry and Barry and Daphne, and you're to be the chaperone. Chaperone or referee? <laughs> I'm positive it'll solve everything, Nana. Yes, you've got something there. You should either cure them or kill them. Then you'll go? Babs, I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Yes? Well, how do you do? I do all right. What do you want? Uh, is Miss Babs Chapin here? No, she's gone down to the station to meet some guests. Oh, well, I'm one of the guests. Well, why aren't you down at the station? I, uh, I didn't come on the plane. I drove up. Well, leave your car outside and come in. <laughs> Thank you. I suppose you're Babs' grandmother. But I hope you didn't think I was her niece. <laughs> no. Are you two uh, engaged? Yes. Did she tell you? No, but I could tell by the silly look on your face. <laughs> oh, gosh, does it show that much? What, your face? <laughs> no, no, I mean... Never mind. Well, uh, which one are you? My name's Barry Thomas. I see. Hmm. Say, huh? do you know a man up here with one leg named Wilson? I'm not sure... Uh, what's the name of his other leg? <laughs> oh, my. 
He used to live here 15 years ago. I guess he's gone now. Uh, well, you certainly got a grand spot here. Think so? Hmm? Well, the roof leaks, the floors creak, the doors won't shut, and the screens won't fit. Otherwise, it's fine. <laughs> Um, uh, have you any idea where Babs wants to park me? I think she's giving you the room at the end of the hall on the second floor. You can put your things up there if you want to. Yeah, yeah I, I think I will. Oh, dear. Here comes the rest of them. Hey, Anna, is there any word from Billy? Yes, he's here. Oh, well, uh, come on, Henry and Daphne. Well, well. So this is Henry and Daphne. Uh, which one is Henry? <laughs> Daphne. What, what have you been doing? Rolling in the mud? Can you imagine, Nana? Daphne was standing on the curb waiting across the street, and a car came whizzing by. And positively drenched me with mud from head to foot. Well, a fellow like that ought to have his license taken away. Ah, uh, Henry's been so considered of me coming up on the train. So you're Henry. Discovered at last. <laughs> <laughs> but where's Barry, Nana? He's upstairs unpacking. I'm just dying to meet him, Dad. Oh, he's a lamb. You'll be crazy about him, Daphne. Yeah, he's just precious, Daphne. Oh, now, shut, Henry. Don't be jealous. Jealous? <laughs> what? Well, I'm not jealous. <laughs> the idea, Dad. Why, if he's jealous, I'm your grandmother. <laughs> That's absolutely. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You are her grandmother. You said it. Well, suppose I show you the... Oh, hello, Barry. Hello, oh, Bab. Hi, Henry. Barry, dear, I want you to meet Dad. <gasps> He's the one! That's the man. I'd know him anywhere. Daphne, what in heaven's name are you talking about? That's the man who flashed me. <laughs> Barry? Uh-oh. So what is this? I suppose you don't remember driving through a puddle in town this morning and splattering mud all over Daphne? He did it on purpose and then turned and... And stuck out his tongue at me. Why, I'm sure you must be mistaken, Daphne. Wait a minute. Are you the dizzy quit who was powdering her nose in the middle of Jackson Street this morning? Dizzy quit? He means you. <laughs> I'll have you know you ruined my dress. Just look at me now. Must I? Now, you just watch your language there, Barry. Because of that fool girl posing out in the street, I almost hit a lamppost. Well, it's too bad you did. Now, please, please, I wanted you two to be friends. Friends? They act like they're married. I think he's the most objectionable person I've ever met. Darling, if I'd gone straight this morning instead of through the mud puddle, you wouldn't even be thinking now. You'd be a grease spot on Jackson Street. The man's a savage. He's wonderful. Can I stop it? Stop it, all of you. I think the least you could do would be be polite to each other as long as you're all my guests. I never want to see that awful man again. Deliver me from a female like that. I'm going to my room. Where is it, Dad? First room on the right. You're directly across the hall. Come on, Daphne. I'll take your things off. I'll go put my car up. Oh, all my swell plans. You know, I'm afraid Barry is too fickle for Daphne. Oh, Mm, we got a nice, tummy crowd. What'll I do, Nana? Barry's simply got to fall for Daphne. You might try tipping him. I think I know what to do. What? Just wait and see. I'll fix this. And the curtain comes down in the first act of tonight's play in the little theater on Times Square. Okay, the outer lobby is downstairs, please. The outer lobby is downstairs, please. Ladies and gentlemen, Vincent Pelletier. Friends, every night of the week, NBC Radio broadcasts programs to amuse, entertain, and enlighten you, the listener. Just for example, listen to Confession, the true tragedies of the criminal world. And also be sure to hear NBC's newest comedy character, Cousin Willie, as each week over many of these stations, he leads you on a happy 30-minute trip into Lapland. Yes, make it a habit to tune where you hear the familiar three NBC chimes. Curtain, second curtain... The first knockers are hurrying down the aisles to their seats. The lights are dimmed, and here's the second act of Two Loves Had She. Wait a minute, Barry. 
Henry and Daphne are in the water already. Aren't you coming? Yeah, but I'm on to talk to you. Oh, sure. Sit down here on the thing. Anything you say, my love. What's on the fire? Why don't you be nice to Daphne? Well, I'm engaged to you, aren't I? <laughs> yes, of course, but she's my guest, and I wanted to have a good time. Well, Henry seems to have taken quite a shine to her. Yes, but you ought to be nice to her. I like you best. Nonsense. Look at that cute figure. Mine can't compare with hers. Oh, I know it can, but I'm... So... <gasps> what? I said, I know it doesn't. Is that so? Well, you said it couldn't, didn't you? Yes, but you don't have to agree so readily. All right. All right, then. She's got a figure like the letter H. Well, well, the real reason is Daphne is pretty crazy about you. As long as you're going... She's what? Well, she's really in there. She was standing in the street this morning trying to attract your attention. She wanted to ride up here with you. Is that on the level? Oh, well, she really has a bad. Oh, the poor kid. Yeah. Oh, so, you see, a little attention would mean a lot to you. Yeah, you're right, Babs. I'll give the kid a break. Well, let's go in the water now. <laughs> Yes, honey. Mm-hmm. Sure, hope so. You know, Barry's really rather nice, isn't he? Yes, I think he yes. is. He was just darling me down to the beach this morning. He's been so nice to me all afternoon. You think I ought to be nice to him? No, I think. I think he's sorry for what he did. But honey, is such a lamb, Barry. I think the cutest thing. Don't you like him? Well, I think... I don't know whether I like Henry or Barry the best. Which you like the best, Dad? Well, it's between Henry and Barry. Well, Henry's I think... more of a gentleman, but Barry is quite dashing. And he's been so attentive. Where's he here? Well, down Did on... Did you know what Henry said this afternoon? He said Barry was notorious for having an awful line. But psychologically, he's unsound. Do you believe that? Well, I... But all men have a line. <laughs> you just got to be smarter than they are. I always say whenever a man Wait has a real... Wait a that... minute. Why, Dad? <laughs> For heaven's sake, turn off your motor and clack a while. <laughs> you have to tell you something. Well, I haven't said a word. <laughs> Barry is gaga about you. Oh, well. How nice of him. Mm-hmm. He was asking me about you this morning. You see, he's a little nearsighted, and that's the reason he splashed you yesterday. But he's just calling for you in a pitiful way, Daphne. How tragic! What do you think I ought to do about it? Oh, make him feel at least. Let him tell you how he feels. You know, you might feel the same way yourself. Oh, well, I wouldn't want Henry to feel badly, but Barry is so precious. All right, Bob. I'll let him pour out his little heart. <laughs> well, you'll be doing a good deed, Daphne. <laughs> It's working like a charm. What is? My plan for Barry and Daphne, haven't you know it? Confidentially, no. Oh, but it is wonderful. I told you said that the other was just lovesick. Now they're like two doves. Swab, you mean. They're being so nice to each other. Poor oh, Henry. Up till now, he's had to entertain Daphne, but now Barry's in there, positively showering with the pumpkin. What's Henry doing between the raindrops? Well, I haven't told him yet, but he doesn't have to stay with Daphne, so... He's still standing by. Yes, like a dog after a bone. Oh, Nana, I'm sorry. Now, if Daphne will just play her card right, you'll have Barry. I think Daphne knows her card. Oh, pretty well. I mean, a lot to her. Yeah, you're right, Babs. I'll give the kid a break. Well, let's go in the water now. <laughs> Will you pin this dress for me? Sure, hold still. You know, Barry's really rather nice, isn't he? Yes. I think he is. He was just darling me down to the beach this morning. He's been so nice to me all afternoon. Do you think I ought to be nice to him? No, I think... I think he's sorry for what he did. But Henry is such a lamb, Barry. Honestly, he's the cutest thing. Don't you like him? Well, I think... I don't know whether I like Henry or Barry the best. Which you like the best, Barry? Well, it's between Henry and Barry. Well, Henry's I... more of a gentleman, but Barry is quite dashing. And he's been so attentive. 
Why is he there? Well, down on... Do you know what Henry said this afternoon? He said Barry was notorious for having an awful line. But psychologically, he's unsound. Do you believe that? Well, I... all men have a line. (laughs) You've just got to be smarter than they are. I always say whenever a man... Wait a a minute. Why, (laughs) Barry? For heaven's sake, turn off your motor and park a while. <laughs> you have to tell you something. Well, I haven't said a word. <laughs> Barry is gaga about you. Oh, well, how nice of him. Mm-hmm. He, he was asking me about you this morning. You see, he's a little nearsighted, and that's the reason he splashed you yesterday. But he's just fallen for you in a pitiful way, Daphne. How tragic! What do you think I ought to do about it? Oh, make him feel at ease. Let him tell you how he feels. You know, you might feel the same way yourself. Oh, well, I wouldn't want Henry to feel badly, but Barry is so precious. All right, Bob. I'll let him pour out his little heart. <laughs> well, you'll be doing a good deed, Daphne. <laughs> Nana, Nana, it's working like a charm. What is? My plan for Barry and Daphne, haven't you noticed? Confidentially, no. Oh, but it is wonderful. I told each of them the other was just lovesick. Now they're like two dumb swabs, you mean. <laughs> they're being so nice to each other. Poor Henry. Up till now, he's had to entertain Daphne, but now Barry's in there positively showering her with attention. What's Henry doing between the raindrops? Well, I haven't told him yet that he doesn't have to stay with Daphne, so he's still standing by. Yes, like a dog after a bone. <laughs> oh, Nana, I'm so relieved. Now, if Daphne will just play her card right, she'll have Barry. I think Daphne knows her cards pretty well. She's doing okay with a pair of jacks right now. What do you mean? Look out the window. Where? There. The three of them getting on horses. Well, they're going riding. Well, I don't want to be left here alone. Run, then. Run. Henry! 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 Hey, wait a minute. Hey! Oh, shut. They're gone. Looks like Daffy's doing all right. What? Oh, they'll be back. You hope. Hi, Bab. Hello, Barry. You busy? No. Where's Daphne? Went down to the post office with Henry. Oh. Well, sit down. Yeah, I, um, I wanted to talk to you alone for a second. Yeah? There isn't a soul in sight. Yeah. I hardly know how to begin. Aren't you having a good time, Barry? Oh, it's nothing like that. These last four days have been wonderful. You've been awfully nice to Daphne. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Daphne? Yeah, in a way. In what way? A serious way. Uh, what would you think, Babs, if we were to break our engagement? Barry, you don't mean that. Oh, now, please, Babs, don't take it too hard. I know it's a shock, but, well, I, I just can't help myself. Oh, well, you mean, you mean you really love her? She's just stolen my heart. Oh, she's so cute, and I'm so fickle. Well, I... I wouldn't want to stand in the way of your happiness. Oh, I knew you'd take it this way, Babs. Besides, you'll learn to forget me in a few years. Yes, I'll learn to forget... In a few years? Well, sure you will, Babs. And thanks for being so understanding about it. Not at all, Barry. Not at all. Why don't you two go out and help Henry and Daphne in with the packages? Daphne? Well, I didn't know she was back. I'll go right out. Hey, what's the matter with him? He acts like he was shot out of a gun. Nana, it's worked. It's worked. He's fallen for Daphne. So what? I'm free. Free to marry him. Rat. Oh, I knew it would work. Nana, I tell you, I'm psychic. Now, now listen. Henry will be in here in a minute. And don't let him leave until I get back. Can I count on him leaving then? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, Where's Babs? She'll be right back. Sit down and rest your mind. Thanks. You've been uh, pretty successful, I understand, Henry. I don't feel that I've done badly for a man who began life as a barefoot boy. No. Of course, I've never yet seen a baby born with shoes on. (laughs) I don't get it. Leave it, (laughs) lay. Oh, Henry. 
Oh, oh, Babs, I'd like to have a very serious talk with you. Alone, if possible. Subtle as a pile driver. I caught it okay. Whistle when the parlor's empty. Thank you, Nana. Babs, I... I find myself in a, a, a very awkward position. Well, you are, kind of. Why don't you sit down here? Uh, no, no. Uh, you don't understand. It, it's about us. You mean we're both awkward? <laughs> let's, let's not beat about the bush. I'll come directly to the point. Barbara, I think we should terminate our engagement. What? I know this is going to be a staggering blow to you, but... Well, I love another... Wagner, you don't mean... Yes, you've guessed the awful truth. It's Daphne. Oh. 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 Oh, the heavens. Quick, someone, get water, get something. She's fainted. <laughs> and the curtain comes down on the second act of tonight's play in the little theater of Times Square. Closing down, stairs in the outer lobby. Closing down, stairs in the outer lobby. And here, ladies and gentlemen, once more, Vincent Pelletier. Friends, you'll get extra dollars to spend in less than 10 years just by investing today in United States savings bonds. Because for every $3 you put in, you'll get back $4 when your savings bonds mature. You'll feel more secure tomorrow if you buy United States savings bonds today. Curtain, last curtain... There's the signal for the last curtain. The house lights are out. And here's the play. Barbara, I think your attitude is extremely juvenile. You're behaving absurdly. Oh, Henry, you can't do this. Oh, anyway, Daphne and Barry are in love. Don't mention his name to me. But they are. Barry told me just today that they want to get married. And you're helping him. Oh, I see it all. You plan for him to come between Daphne and me. Between Daffy... The man's nothing but an opportunist. He's without morals or principles. Don't you talk about Barry that way. You've been horning in on us the whole time we've been here. Annoying Daphne. Well, I like that. Horning in on you when you're supposed to be engaged to me. Well, it's all over. And I do it without regret now that I've learned how you scheme to hold me. Henry! I'll see you before I leave in the morning. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Has the hound of the Baskervilles left? <laughs> oh, Nana. What are you sibling about? Oh, Nana, everything's gone kaplunk. I'm perfectly miserable. Oh, dry up and tell me what's the matter. Henry's in love with Daphne. Well, so the caterpillar became a butterfly, huh? Oh, forget it. You're well rid of him. After all, you still got Barry. I wish I did have. What do you mean? Barry's going to marry Daphne. Ooh. She gets along pretty well on half a brain, doesn't she? <laughs> I'm left like a rowboat when the tide goes out. Well, no two men are worth any loss of sleep. Go on to bed. We'll figure it out in the morning. Oh, man, I'm so unhappy. I wish Barry didn't love her. Barry? What about Henry? Oh, I hate him. He was so nasty. Hmm. Well, this is a bitter lesson, but it ought to teach you this. The plural of men, Babs, is menace. Good morning, dear. Good morning, man. Sleep? Finally. You're clearer about the whole thing now, aren't you? Yes, yes. I, I know one thing for certain. Yes? Now. It's Barry I loved all the time, and I'm going to tell him so this morning. Sure? Yes. Where are they all? Haven't come down yet. Have? Hmm. But it's 9 30. They can sleep this late. Well, go ahead and wake them then. I will. Daphne! Daphne, it's time. Oh, she's gone. Barry! Barry, are you in there? Barry! Barry, are you here? What's the matter? Nana, they've gone. Barry, it's... Look, look, here's a note. Well, read it. Oh, Nana, I'm afraid to. Huh? Dear Bab, I'm sorry it had to end this way, but we all want happiness. Daphne and I are leaving tonight. I'm driving up to my cottage at Milford tomorrow to be married. Love. <laughs> <laughs> 
Berry. Well, not on my stump. <laughs> Nana, he's gone. Where's Henry? Oh, I haven't looked. Oh, come on. Henry! Henry, are you there? Open the door. He's gone, too. There's a note on his bed. Oh, wait a minute. Dear Barbara, I thought it best for me to depart this way. Daphne and I love each other. I intend to marry her tomorrow at George Blaine's and Hackensack. Try and forget me, Henry. Hackensack? With a whole world to choose from, he picked Hackensack. <laughs> You'll probably honeymoon at Wee Hawkins. <laughs> oh, Nana, I've made such a mess of things. Do you love Barry? More than I ever realized. Maybe it isn't too late. Well, how? He said Milford, didn't he? Well, yeah. But what? If he's worth anything, he's worth fighting for. If I wanted a man that badly, I'd go and get him. <laughs> you darn tootin' the wood. But what if Daphne's there? What if she is? Take him right out from under her nose. <laughs> Nana, I do love him that much. Well, then get going and don't spare the horsepower. <laughs> Why, Bab? Are you married yet? Huh? What? Are you still single? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Where is she? Oh. Daphne. She's in that room, isn't she? Why, 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 yes, why? Yes, 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 she is, I know. But it doesn't make any difference because I came here for a purpose. Now, Babs, now take it easy. I don't care if she is in there or if she hears me. Now, please, Babs, now please be careful. Barry Thomas, I love you. Well, I know, but it... what did you say? Oh, Barry, I never realized how much before. Now, you, you can't marry Daphne. You simply can't when I love you so much. Well. No, now, no. You do love me, don't you? Sure. I'll make such a good wife. Very much better than Daphne. Really, I will. Yeah, I guess you would. Then say you'll give her up. Say it. All right. Oh, darling. And we'll get married right away. Yes. Oh, but Barry, don't you think you ought to go in there and tell her? Tell her? Yeah, tell Daphne. Oh, but she isn't there. What? Well, she's marrying Henry this afternoon. What? Then, then now, take it easy, darling. Take it easy. You mean to say you deceived me? Now, wait a minute. Why, you two-faced, unprincipled... Sit down, woman. Don't you hit me. Sit down. Yes, Barry. Now, I never said Daphne was in that room. You said it. But the note you left, it said you were going to marry her at your cottage here. No, it didn't, sweetheart. It said Daphne and I were leaving last night. We did. Daphne with Henry and I alone. Then you knew Henry and Daphne were leaving? Your grandmother heard them leaving and suggested that I do the same. Nah. Mm -hmm. But you did say you were getting married at Milford today. That's right. To you. You mean you knew I'd come running after you? Now, slow down. You're going around a curve. <laughs> no, I didn't, but your grandmother seemed to be pretty sure you would. Nana, again. Sure. She's been my advisor all through this. She told me to come here and wait and that you'd come to your senses sooner or later. Like that sly old fox. <laughs> I thought she was looking for me and she was helping you all the time. Helping us, darling. But why did you ask to break our engagement? Grandma's advice. She figured if you got what you wanted, you'd be sure not to want it. <laughs> oh, dear, I guess I've been an awful boon. Well... Do you have what you want now? Mm-hmm. Are you sure you want it? Mm hmm Then come and get it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the premier performance of Elvis Park, a new hit play on the great white play at the Little Theater off Times Square. Miss Lovey and Mrs. Shalea are taking bows. Now they're joined by Brenda Feltman, the old star of the 40 cast. Green shuttle high on the back and call the ball. Next week, join us again and bring your friends for a mystery melodrama. Now we move out of the theater and into the street. Esther, Esther, get your paper. Here's your cab, Mr. Presnader. Thank you. Good night. The First Nighter program, a copyrighted radio feature, is an NBC Radio Network production starring Barbara Luddy and Olin Soule. The part of the First Nighter is played by Rye Billsbury. The night play was pure fiction and did not refer to real people or actual events. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.